How's it, ladies and gents? Uh, uh, Gary here from Fathers for Justice. I hope you're all doing well. I'm constantly asked, how much can I expect to pay for legal advice? So, if you have a look at it, there's sort of like three There's three sort of like main categories if you want to put it into. Um, Ninety-five percent of the, the population have got to use the legal system as it is and hope and pray like hell that they get some form of degree of of justice. Uh, simply, they do not have access to the stupid amount of uh, money that is required to fight this thing in law. So 95% of the population, as a direct result of government's uh, stupidity with the economy and its stupid education system um, have basically put 95% of the population into the bracket uh, that they just don't have access to proper legal representation. Um, if we were to take, to take the balance of the 5% that do hire a lawyer or an advocate, and do use the justice system. If we take that 5%, we can say that 99% of that particular section of the population invariably do not have the funding or the finances to see the fight through. That's that simple. So they, they come into the justice system with the mistaken belief that they are going to spend 30 grand or 10 grand or you know, no, no, a buddy around the corner that runs a fish and chip shop and also has a questionable legal degree. Now I can do it for a thousand bucks. Best of luck with that one. These guys invariably, this this proportion of the, the, the population end up spending up any, anything upwards of 600,000 rand until they are financially obliterated and are, as a result of financial obliteration and bad legal advice have to walk away from the situation. And then we look at the top 1% of that uh, percentage and those are the guys that can lash out uh, 2 million rand, 3 million rand and take the, the matter to its final conclusion. Splashing out 2 or 3 million rand is by no means a guarantor that of success. And I've seen it. I've seen guys, I've seen guys um, put out, uh, the one guy put out three million rand. And he walked away with less time with his child at an end of, a, I think it was a six year battle, if I'm not mistaken. So it's no guarantor. So that in essence is a long, long winded explanation of how much you can expect to pay. The other explanation is, is that you can expect you, you, your, your, the amount that you can expect to, to, to pay is directly proportional to how much of a child abuser your ex is, how stupid, ignorant, dumb, childish, and immature they are, and they will be abused. Make no mistake. They will be abused by the child abusing divorce industry because that kind of parent is a perfect candidate for the child abusing divorce industry to keep both you and your ex locked in a state of war for as long as one or both of you have money to throw at the situation. So... That is an explanation. Oh, and the other one that I forgot, the other uh, financing solution is Bank of Dad. So Granny and Granddad have got money to throw at the situation. And they in invariably exacerbate the situation. So I hope that answers the question finally for you. How long is a piece of string? How, long, how much can you expect to pay? Well, I don't know. It's very simply put is how stupid is your ex? How ignorant? Okay. And this is, this is where I get fascinated with the law because the law requires you under the Children's Act, the Divorce Act, and New Court Rule 41A of 2020 
as promulgated the 9th of February, I think it was, last year, uh, quite clearly state that the vast majority, if not all, of civil cases and some criminal cases, in actual fact, should be mediated. The fact that the judges and the magistrates do not enforce the mediation rule is is ninety percent of the problem. Is ninety percent of the problem, and I and I hold the judges and the magistrates directly, personally, and severably liable for unnecessary litigation. By default, you should go to mediation. Uh, we firmly believe that in uh, if you are forced to go, take a step back. If your partner has a brain, you know, that they can use, and you're going to spend about twenty-five to 35,000 Rand doing mediation, that is with a proper mediator. Okay. The other thing is, please don't use your ex's lawyer to help you mediate the settlement because you're just going to get screwed over. If you agree on mediation, then you pick, you, you go and find 20 mediators out there, and you pick a name out of the hat, and that's the one that you should go with. That is the logical way to do it. That is the best and most accurate way to do it. Okay, but the point that I'm making is, is that you should, to get a proper mediator, should take you no more than six to ten sessions at a cost of between 25 and 35 grand, more or less. Okay, and you guys should be done and dusted. So within ten weeks, at a cost of 35 grand maximum, you should be out of the system. You, your children, and your ex should be out of the system within 10 weeks. Why is it that five and eight years down the line, at a cost of anything between 600,000 and 2 million rand, you're still slugging it out? It's because one of you, are being one or both of you, are being stupid about it. Get in, get out, start the healing process. The quicker you can, the two of you can start the healing process, the quicker that the two of you can move on, the better for all of you, and more specifically, the better for your children. Okay. So I hope that clearly answers the question. Okay. It's a matter of, it's a matter of stupidity, and the lawyers and the psychologists abuse the situation for their own personal financial gain. And don't tell me otherwise. Because if the lawyers and the advocates and the psychologists actually, A, did their job, and B, were concerned about you as a human being, they would say, sit the fuck down, get, your other, get the other party in the room, mediate a solution, and be done and dusted with it. But this is a money-making racket. That's what this is all about. It's got nothing to do with anything else. So, how, how much is it going to cost? is directly proportional to how stupid one or both of you are going to be in the situation. How childish and immature one or both of you are going to be. And I hope that puts a puts a puts the answer in clear 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 as daylight. Please join the class action suit. Please join us. Uh, if you're needing assistance, uh, mediation and legal services, please reach out to us. I can be contacted on info at f4j.co.za. Go on to our website, www.f4j.co.za. Uh, what else do you need to do? Like and subscribe. Please, can you guys do some, uh, 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 what do you call those things? Uh, some donations would be greatly appreciated. And please get on board with the class action suit. Enough is enough, Naga. We've really, the line has to be drawn in the sand somewhere. Love to you all.